the back of the house is uh, the newest program of uh, Manila Ocean Park. It's the scientific core of the oceanariums. In this area, you will learn more about what goes on behind the oceanarium. So this is the back of the house of Manila Ocean Park. So it has six sections. We have the breeding room, the animal care center, the ozone room, the water lab, the food prep room, and the marine tank display. Each section plays an important role in maintaining the well-being of the animals and the cleanliness of the water. Breeding room, it showcases the different marine organisms that we're able to breed in the facility. In the Animal Care Center, this is where you will find the different medicines and vitamins that we give to make sure that the fish are healthy and the well-being is well taken care of. This area is also where we perform the necropsies. If we have to study about parasites, we have books and we have microscopes. For the ozone room, it's the main sterilizing equipment of Manila Ocean Park. It eliminates the microorganisms and particles in the Manila Bay water. This is the raceway. This is where the Manila Bay water passes through. These are the biofilters. And we also have the protein skimmers. There's a collection cup that collects all the dirt and microorganisms that you can find in the water. The water goes back to the different tanks to make it suitable for the fishes in Manila Ocean Park to live in. So it makes the water cleaner. The water lab is where you'll find the different apparatus that we use to monitor the water. Like the water multi-parameter and the water quality analyst would check and monitor the waters that we get every day. Ano ginagawa mo ngayon, Ate Jessa? Dito sa water lab, tinitest ko yung pH, yung temperature, yung dissolved oxygen, and then yung salinity. For the food prep room, this is the Oceanarium's kitchen. So this is where we prepare the food for all the animals. Some animals are herbivores, some are carnivores. So we prepare different kinds of food that suits the diet of the animals that we take care of here in the Oceanarium. The Marine Aquarium Tank display, this summarizes the entire life support system of the Manila Ocean Park. So this is like a mini display of what is actually Manila Ocean Park's life support system. I think one of uh, my best moments in Manila Ocean Park is when we opened the park in March 1, 2008. So it was the first time I saw a lot of people lining up just to go inside and um, see what we have in store for them here in the park. It felt really good to be part of a piloting team that built an oceanarium in the heart of Manila, the first oceanarium in the Philippines. In relation to the back of the house, we actually have started a program where we encourage graduate students to use the Manila Ocean Park as a laboratory for studying, for example, Manila Bay or the marine biodiversity in general. I believe that it's very important to pass on everything that we have learned, that we have studied, so that the next generation can get whatever learnings or knowledge and they will be able to use it to at least do something about it for the protection and the rehabilitation of Manila Bay.